shit on your armor. Can I roll for bad feelings? Bad feelings? Yeah, sure, roll for bad feelings. Um, Can I roll to sense disturbance in the force? Are the negotiations gonna be very short? Mm. You have slightly bad feelings. Kenobi. Meanwhile, Kore, you come to Captain Orville, who's within Avalon Colony still. He's standing there, puffing away in nothing but swim trunks, essentially. And you can see him. Uh, welcome. Hello there, Captain. Uh, I must say, I'm rather surprised that you asked for me. Didn't think I left that much of a impression on you. Ah, uh, it's not so much the impression you left on me, dear. It's the impression you left on this place. Uh, is just gonna make a mental note that some of the Jedi's probably found out about the plant, which is... He straightens out his moustache and goes, Of course, of course, but, uh, on to what, uh, we need of you. Right. I suspect you know the way into a forest by this point? I think I'll manage. Understood. Well, there's a certain thing, you see. When we uncovered the spaceship, apparently we found some rather interesting rocks, so to speak. What's so special about these, if I may ask? The glowing type. Ah. Rocks, you I understand. Yes, he like looks around for a moment and he's like, he's glad that you understand. I just wish you to go and uh, inspect these rocks. The young Padawans have moved on from Zealous by this point, apart from one or two, and they're on other missions right now. I, I suggest you can handle it. Yes, uh, I believe uh, I can handle it. Ah, good, good, good. <laughs> Is there anything you need for your trip? Food? Supplies? Uh, yes, uh, I believe I'll uh, talk with Captain Rush on that. I'm sure that uh, he'll advise me what's best suit. Yeah, take this. He hands over a form after pulling out of his front pocket of his shorts. If you excuse me, I have a jacuzzi to enjoy. Yes, of course. Enjoy the water. <laughs> you too, he off. says, and gestures outside to the rain. <laughs> then he starts walking away. Talks on him, I like rain. <laughs> so remember, I'm more on the dark side, so I'm technically very emo. <laughs> you sit on top of you sit on top of a tree, brooding. While B2 stands over you with an umbrella. Ah, <laughs> oh, life is all death. Right. So you'll be heading out into the Zeus Forest straight away, then. Uh, yeah, but first we're gonna have to get uh, something for B29. He says he's fine with the water, but let's not take any risks get him some kind of cover so no, he doesn't get too Rush is willing to uh, part with a poncho Okay, aggressive perfect. waterproofing Hey, B29, put this poncho on and don't remove it if I say so Yeah, that this is keep nice Cora. Oh wow, Jack was right, you really are old listen. It's actually kind of creep Anyway, course, don't worry about Ms. that too Cora. much So just uh Stay close to me, B29, and we should be fine. If you spot something, let me know immediately. Excellent, Miss Cora, of course. <clears throat> Cora is certainly starting to shoot. Okay, this is getting... B B29 is slowly, slowly dying. <laughs> I'm dying and dying. Anyway, I'm gonna get some basic supplies that Rush recommends. I'm gonna thank him, and then me and B29 will be on our merry way. Alright, there you go. Turn on some vain sound effects for as you go out into the forest. Want me to roll for piloting? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, there should be no problems because I'm leader of many biker gangs. I should be very good. Fine. But you're leader of many biker gangs, what? There we go, told you. Too. <laughs> oh, Ash, it's worrying. <laughs> They're all worrying over each other. Meanwhile, yes, Cora, you're actually going a nice, respectful speed, mainly because there's trees in your way, so you have to slow down. Yeah. Thankfully, much to the heart of B-22. It's because <laughs> I'm a rebel, I'll still drift a couple of times anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. So drift, 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 drift. Deja vu. Deja vu. One second, is it... I just have to check a second if it's... 
Oh my god, oh my don't god. tell me you actually have the song. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry, I don't Okay, jeez, actually... that would have been have... insane. Fuck me. Since you have speeder bikes, I should have had it, but sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. So you want right. me to just, like, shout out songs at you instead? By this point, you arrive at the crashed spaceship, but it's uh, currently towed away, of course, leaving what seems to be under it a crushed root of a tree with almost gem-like rocks within it. Right. Please, come on, between. Was this the tree he was referring to, Miss Cora? Seems like it. I mean, the coordinates match up. Have a look around. All right, just approaching the tree. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick glance around. I'm assuming that they're, uh, you know, they've been excavating the ship and stuff. It's pretty much safe. There doesn't seem to be anything around that might be known, right? Yep. So you can actually—it's so big you can actually <clears throat> get inside of a route essentially and take a look around. Uh, does it seem like the terrain is uh, not dangerous for 29 because you know he's so. Is he gonna be fine? Yeah, he'd be fine. It's not that wet within here and he can easily walk over it. Okay. He's still a humanoid robot after all. Right, so I guess we're gonna head inside then. It's not actually that deep, it's like a single room inside. As you go inside, you can inspect the crystals. Would you want to know lore, please? Okay. Oh, well, but our luck. Oh! Nice. nice. You actually discover that these are almost similar to um, Giza's crystals. Almost. They're strange in a way, like unfinished. They're not fully there just yet. Uh, can I take an educated guess that they're probably maturing, like the seed that uh, Tiz got or something? Slowly, yes. Like very, 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 very slowly. But meanwhile, in our as, universe, actually not within your universe, right outside of the tree, you hear something. Roll perception, maybe. <clears throat> One second. I'm assuming there's gonna be a hard difficult because of that. That's to yes, please. Tense. Do we uh, add a red on for perception in that case? Yes, please. Or just three purple. Where's my tense music? God damn it. One, I can shout tense music. Do it. <laughs> uh, da da da. Da -da. Eat marvelous. Da -da. Nice. Da -da -da. What you hear outside sounds almost like da -da. the sound of a spaceship landing and people's boots. That doesn't sound Miss, right. Miss Cora, I suggest you ready your tremor blade. Now, oh, now, let's not be too hasty, B29. Uh, this could be anything. Just take a look first, and I'm gonna peek, uh, peek my head outside to see what's happening. Ah, there we go. Sorry, I just... Da, da, da. <laughs> da, da. Cheers, Adam. It's <laughs> alright, I was considering if I do the high note, but you know... Fucking smashed it, Jack. Do the impossible. Good job. Right, that should be tense music enough. Perfect. You can hear music, right? Yep. Good. Right. So as you peek out, you see several people with guns. <clears throat> Look like thugs dressed in leather and bandoliers. Behind them, you see a shadowed form past the trees, large. And you hear over the rain, We know you're here! <clears throat> Come out with your hands up! There's about three of them, along with a shadow figure and someone next to him holding an umbrella. I'm gonna turn to B29 and say, I'm gonna assume they probably meet us. <laughs> Since we're kind of the only people here. Slowly. B29, B29. 
uh, stay inside uh, the small crevice and stay out of sight. See if you can't contact the captain and tell him that we run into some unexpected trouble. See if One I'm gonna see if I can buy us some time. Yes, Miss Cora. And Cora, without uh, using uh, anything, but uh, one hand behind her back, she's gonna keep a grenade ready, and with the other hand she's gonna raise it and uh, step out into the paint. Since I'm assuming I'm probably wearing a poncho as well, I'm basically trying to hide one of my hands inside the poncho. I have a grenade <laughs> just in case. And I'm gonna step out very slowly with the other hand ready. They all ready their guns at you, and they go, Ah, this is easier than I thought. Don't shoot. What is this about? Well, Miss Coax Khan. It's one of those lizard like creatures that you see in Star Wars, you know, the Old Republic. Yep, yeah, Trandosians. Yeah, that's it, Trandosians. He's putting his wife where he goes, We heard you were making trouble for us, and on top of that, you're very unique. Uh, Ash, as my preemptive vigilance action, can I uh, shoot Miss Cora with my healinator to give her you, the buff? You may. Uh, are they gonna okay. notice that, though? Well, I'm in the log behind you. Oh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. could, or you could wait until you're... Yeah, so they won't notice if he fires it right behind. Okay. B2 raises his healinator and fires. God damn it. Just like Pat the rain I can I can tell you now, the rain they won't be able to hear it. Perfect. I hit it sideways, it's a kill shot. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm doing a roll for your heels. Sure. Awkward if you got to spare. I think you can, though. You need a red to get this pair. Still. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm assuming that's gonna buff one of my stats and I suffer one strength, so right? So, you... You allow that to hit then, yes? Yes. Hang so on, I got is that the effect, Jack? Cora, as you feel the dart slamming into your back, you've already yourself for that rush, that go get a thing. Suddenly your leg gives out under you. What? And you feel yourself fall to one knee as this, you feel something coursing through your body. My insufferable charade serving on that disgusting ship is finally at an end. Oh, how my restraining bolt has ached. B2 steps forward slowly. You uh, hear... What did I just suffer? You just suffered... 10 strain damage. And what? Still a bit in effect. Okay then. Jesus. And fucking on go. Christ. Well, As I'm still standing, I'm not beaten yet. The others immediately open fire with their stun their stun settings firing at you, Cora. Uh I uh, since I can't activate anything, I'm just gonna use my dodge ability to upgrade the difficulty by one. Alright. Also since I had a prepared yes. grenade, can I throw it? Or am I not allowed? Because I got jumped. You're not allowed right now. Risk, you're getting j jacked right now. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> right, just a sec. Uh, since I have a range defense of 3 with my gauntlet, the first one doesn't hit. Second one doesn't hit, but I don't know what the triumph does. And the first, the third one also doesn't hit. Just barely. The third one does... One, two, three, four... Oh no, the first one triumph. doesn't hit. No, the f second one, the triumph. It does hit, since triumph overrides it. Uh, Yeah, that's around about 
12 extra strain damage, and I say you're in mobile. Oh yeah, I'm done. I can't take that much. As you fall down to the ground, you hear the figure sliveling up, rain pouring down your face. As you hear... One second. He greets you, B2. You privilege me with your presence. I am honored to have served you with inside information on Mr. Dibbler's escapades. I trust the recent hyperspace coordinates to the Mandalorian ship wreckage proved lucrative. He nods, he's smiling as he cups your cow-like face. He's clearly pleased to see you. What he said there just then was you done a brilliant job. Thank you, you Master. You have done well. This is the immortal lab rat I spoke of in my most recent transmission. She will be our gateway to immense research possibilities. He mentions how she doesn't look like much. Are you sure it's her? I'm absolutely certain. It looks Emo like it looks like Dibbler suspected something was after Miss Cora on their trip to Alderaan, but then the fool sent us off together. He suspected nothing. He mentions how, essentially, at very least, you gave him, you had, uh, gave him coordinates to follow you up until this point. But then he motions for his troops to come and collect Cora to put her in the medical tube. Uh... Interestingly enough, the Jedi woman almost blew my cover after expressing interest in examining my memory banks, but I was never discovered. <laughs> then it is good. Oh, by the way, Cora, you wanted to do something? Because I don't want to leave you out just because you you can hear all this. Uh... Since you're saying I can hear this, I'm assuming I'm fucked, but I'm not unconscious, right? Yeah, you're basically, you're, uh, you're Just fucked. Just then, you're... because I want to do something. Like, you can't physically move, move. Can I, uh, I just used the light side dice, but I didn't ask you. Can I use the light side dice to at least uh, trigger some kind of emergency beacon on my fucking radio or something? I don't know. Well... The, the trick I pull on half the NPCs we meet. <laughs> that one, right? You, I tell you what, essentially, you're reaching back to hit the homing beacon that Jack placed on you before. Is that, yeah? Yeah, that'll do. Essentially. So yeah, that's an emergency beacon sort of style. You spent a light side dice, I would say... Yes. Yes, I will allow you. And with that, I'm assuming I'm done just staring up at the rain. Staring up towards B2 as he's standing over you with his rifle. And as that's happening, rather than feeling uh, angry, betrayed, or anything, I'm thinking, man, told my sense. As soon as they said anything about my con, of no, fuck. Yes, I am getting. And with that. You're picked up and placed within the Koto tube to be filled up as you drift. Of course, you can still see outside if you open your eyes, but you'll feel free to drift into unconsciousness around about this point as you're pulled away into the ship. B2 following after as he speaks to you. Where did you send them with that transmission? I sent them on some wild goose chase to Alderaan. I think they're going for a wine tasting session. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> At this point, he motions to, to the droid that had been holding his umbrella by this point to put it over you as well. He clearly thinks he clearly thinks highly of you, as he always has done. You have been his droid since he was a little slug. After all. In fact, he he was sad when he had to 
lose you in that game. Hey, I cheated fair and square. Oh, did you cheat? Or so you think. Like, say the line, I cheated fair and square and no one questioned it. <laughs> no, you cheated. <laughs> we know you cheated. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. I mean... We know you have a silver heart, Jack. We know you always cheat um... fair and square. Exactly. <laughs> Ash, I assume I'm the first one to notice the beacon since I'm the security expert. Oh yes, you are. And I'm gonna um, turn off the vein by this point. All right, I'm immediately barging into the uh, uh, pilot's room. How I know you don't like it, but it's an emergency, so shut the fuck up. Jack, we need to turn around right now. Cora just activated her emergency beacon. I think there was a trap back on. There's. <sighs> Hardly even gone at all. She can't have gotten herself into anything that bad. Well, she activated her emergency beacon, and you know how Cora is and how she likes to 1v1 things. She's not just going to activate her emergency beacon because she chipped a nail. Yes, Ooh, like Astrid! That. That's the way! I I like that, um, I like how you know his character. I like that. Just so you improves. <laughs> hey, uh, she doesn't also have anything on her, but we hey, might Ash. still be able to reach. See if you can call the colony. Get me all yes. Off. He'll be able to explain. What do I roll to make the logical leap that uh, we were we were baited away since Cora was specifically mentioned by name in the message? Astrid's already basically well, kind named. of thinking that she, we yes, were baited yeah, like, away because of the, how the message were, was worded. Um, let's see. I will but, have to. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell um, tell Astrid. Right, she doesn't have a bead on her, but we should be able to reach Zara. See if you can contact Captain Orville. All right, I'm right. gonna message uh, Captain Oro. Like, uh, why, why, why is it like a plain logic check in the system? Hello, uh, Captain. How long? Uh, you were sending Cora on a mission, right? Oh yes, he says as you hear the bubbles of jacuzzi water. I sent her around about a few hours ago. <sighs> right. Can you give me the coordinates to where you sent her exactly? Of course, it's by the down ship. All right, thank you. Wait, before you hang up, I take the bead off of you and say in a lower voice, she activated her emergency bead. Where the hell did you send her? W what do you mean? So he seems generally confused. Like, don't it sound so accusatory of me? I sent her on a milk run. One that would take time, studies, that sort of things. <sighs> right. Do you want to know what's interesting, though? I'm saying this to Jack after he hangs up with Oral. Go for it. Cora activated her emergency beacon, but B2 didn't? He's Isn't he, like, all paranoid about shit? He would have activated it, like, so fucking long before Maybe Cora he's dead. Hey, Ash. Uh, if I, you're gonna roll, if you're actually gonna make a lot of that yes, I would know no, how to no, do this no. if B2 yeah. is destroyed. Hang on. No, it roll streetwise if you can actually come up with this logical deduction. Alright. No, this uh, is important. Is the difficulty of playing two plain purple? No, that doesn't exist. Uh, yes, it's two purples, essentially. For now. Oh, I thought that was me. They both. Actually, do you, you know something's probably definitely wrong with. Core, at least your logical deduction from before the fact that something probably jumped them is probably true but you don't know anything more than that tis mm. you probably know that the at this point it was so coincidental that the note that pulled you away and mentioned for you to leave these certain people behind could not be just a coincidence there are too many coincidences Right, I don't like it as well. You misunderstand, Jack. There are no coincidences. It was only for fast. This isn't the time for your made-up you? You're not hearing what I'm saying. No, Jack, she's there right. Are no, there are no coincidences, and there's too many of them, which means that this was guaranteed to be staged. By the way, at this point, when after you've made your little contact towards the colony, 
You hear the comms suddenly spark to life. The announcement, the intercoms spark to life. Mr. Dibbler, you once told me, and I quote, You're a medical droid. Medical droids don't need to talk. How utterly insulting after I tried with 100% capacity to fulfill your every need. Thankfully, I always knew my true master would eventually end my tedious time as an informant on your mediocre ship. My master Have understands too far? the respect <laughs> befitting of my genius. With Miss Cora to dissect, I will become the greatest doctor in the galaxy by unleashing immortality upon all life forms. Enjoy continuing to send that other droid to the kitchen like a dog. I'll be returning to respected medical research where I belong. Good hey, riddance and Ash. thanks for Miss Cora. Hey, hey Ash. Yes? You know how I had a list of things I'd like to do? Yes. If you look at the top of my wish list, you'll find slicing computer. Well, that was a pre-recorded message. <laughs> ah, fuck. I thought, I thought he'd, he'd done goof there. Uh, by the way, like, uh, <laughs> can I just say something real quick, guys? Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to point out that I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, since the P29 is going to be a drag on this, I'm just going to leave him behind when nobody's... <laughs> but when Jack said... Captain Jack said, "Okay, well, you're gonna you're gonna listen to Cora." I'm like, "Okay, fine, I'll take him with me." So I was actually considering ditching him. <laughs> if only Very you close. did, you would have had a chance fighting against those thugs. No, I'm, I'm really happy with how Jack has played this the entire time. I've been looking forward to seeing yeah. when it would happen. I just want I just want to know: Did you guys ever notice how your shit was being revealed? Like how the Vec was somehow leaked and all that I'm sort gonna, of stuff. I'm gonna be honest, I started thinking uh, pretty much as soon as, as soon as we got back after kicking that sip in the but I didn't want to, I wanted to see how Jack would do it. I was really excited. <laughs> it's not over yet. I'm me. not even going to pretend I knew anything because I'm yeah. usually not that smart. Ash and I planned this from the start. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> <session one. laughs> I, I figure you did. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to see what the target was though. I thought like, are you gonna try and steal the ship? Are you gonna try and take out Korra? Or are you gonna come try and isolate us? And, hey, know? dude, we would have stolen the ship as well if you'd like, brought us to Yeah, if, if, if you actually took and filled one, they would have so, took the ship as well. Congrats on that. Do you, <laughs> so you, do, do you wanna know, Jack? I thought you might have. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you left. So it's a good thing I did send off that beacon then, so we spared the ship, yeah, I guess. Is. Oh, so, also, Edwards, yeah. That, there's another reason. Uh, I don't give the keys to anyone else, and here's one of the things from my wish list. I was very aware of what could happen. <laughs> very aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but anyway. that's the thing. You gave him all for his access. You, you, from the beginning, you told me that B2 has the ability to send messages and do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, well, I'm uh... revoking his <laughs> authorized access right now. <laughs> Is that the act of defiance? Fucking... I, I trust, I'm taking away your admin privileges. I'm taking away your admin privileges, and then I'm uh... going to give you a present. The present is multiple bullets directly to your face. Uh, uh... Uh, my, my response to that message is, firstly, you know, I try and see if he's done goofed and I can catch it and then eventually I imagine when I realize it's a uh, pre-recorded message I'll go worth a try I pull out a thing from my pocket hit a button any chance he's still trackered? Uh, Cora's <laughs> got her tracker she literally activated it for you mm -hmm. so that's the still can... broadcasting her position yeah they don't, they don't know about stuff. it yeah. B2's probably removed his man. Ah, fuck yeah, it. like in Jack's <laughs> mind, he was like, he, he's probably removed it, but never know. Worth a try. This is where you will discover Jack actually outfitted you of tiny uh, bombs. Basically, what trackers. happens when you activate B29 Seeker is you track it to a nearby toilet, and the implication being your shit. Fuck you. It's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I roll mechanics to try and speed the ship up to where we're going? Uh, we're not okay. going there anymore. Oh. Well, I mean, we're to where back. we're going to get to Korra and to the 
we're turning around. I'm trying to speed up the ship when we're going. Astrid, just... Look, it's already leaving there, so we need to track where it's going to be, where it is. Right, wait, let me think. Uh, Ash. Yeah. I'm trying to remember who I won him off in a game of cards years ago. Ah, uh, who? Well, practically unnamed Hut, apparently. Not exactly anyone important, important. Um, any chance of... Or so you say. Uh, maybe rolling to recall some details or anything that can get me started. Details, one second. I've actually got a picture of him. I'll check him out. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, it'll be like... Um, Number AI one, he is, he's he is got a damaged left eye. He's got a horrible scar from his left eye and he's kind of missing it. It's pure, like, yellow, essentially. Now, you, within the darkness of your mind, you hear a familiar voice calling out to you. Or a familiar sense. It's not really a voice, it's just a draw. And once more you feel beneath your feet the grey sand. A figure stands before you. Before you, you see a robed figure. I'm gonna die that